It's a large campaign, 42 people, 27 scientists, and a huge multi-institutional, multidisciplinary campaign looking at a range of different questions um, associated with the Denman Glacier uh, and the impacts of climate change on that, on that glacier system. system alone has the potential um, to raise sea level by 1.5 meters and we we know that ice shelves can be vulnerable particularly to a warming ocean and these ice shelves almost act like dams so they're holding back the ice on the continent and if we start to break up or weaken that dam we immediately will start to bring a lot more ice from the continent into the ocean so it's important for us to know more about the stability and the structure of these systems moving forward and then to be able to be better predict sea level rise both in terms of the magnitude but also the timing of these kind of events. But what we really don't know very much about is what's going on beneath the surface. And we think from other areas in East Antarctica that the most change is actually happening at the interface of the ice and the ocean, so at the base of some of these large ice shelves and glaciers. And that's what we're really interested in um, in this coming field season. The glaciers of the East Antarctic region are significant in that uh, that area holds a huge amount of ice and if climate change uh, occurs as we're predicting, uh, losing that ice will have significant implications for sea level rise and uh, for the broader Southern Ocean and even uh, the climate of Australia.